It is vital to the development of each 21st century learner that we welcome in the model for learning that cultivates growth and creativity in this digital age. This concept has brought me to my why. I believe that my 21st century high school learner must be empowered to navigate the current digital age as well as the challenges that they will inevitably face in the future. This will be accomplished by equipping each learner with a growth mindset, developing high expectations, establishing solid classroom routines, and fostering trusting relationships. My what? Once each learner has been equipped with these tools, they will feel empowered to navigate the current digital age and its present implementation in the classroom. Furthermore, this allows each individual to embrace an ever-changing future they need to help them learn how to learn and prepare them to be adaptable, flexible, and innovative. I am passionate about embedding these six student-centered learning principles into my classroom. I believe they will ultimately lead to positive individual learning experiences. The first principle is shifting student and teacher roles, whereby the teacher acts as the change agent and the student acts as the partner in the learning process. The teacher is helping to find the student's niche while the student is gaining entrepreneurial skills. Fostering student engagement by creating a significant learning environment driven by innovative change. Third, collaborating as both peers and learners, also known as cooperation instead of isolation. This allows each individual to learn from others and provides opportunities for student growth. The fourth guiding principle is enabling student agency over their learning. Each learner should have the freedom to be creative. Also, providing discovery and accessibility is crucial in the classroom. Opportunities for active and authentic learning. Finally, we have measuring experience and making meaningful connections. Learning will be assessed based on student demonstration of their experiences. Additionally, the making of meaningful connections is key to the learning and knowing. We can move from covering content to uncovering deep and meaningful connections, help students see each other as resources and learn from one another, prepare learners to thrive on change, not simply adapt to it. So how can we correct what's wrong with education? Research has shown that one of the fundamental issues in education is the institution of standardized testing, which is a byproduct of the industrial age, a time when human flourishing for the sake of learning was not a part of the conversation. John Hattie's research conveys that everything we do for kids is good for them. So we need to start focusing on what will be the most effective. Currently, we live during a time where society places a strong value on creativity, yet the traditional model for teaching is still being utilized, as well as its standardized methods of assessments. Thus, we are at a time requiring out-of-the-box thinking with technology at our fingertips, yet the classroom model in place is not providing a creative means. The most effective solution is a student-centered approach to education. So what is school for in the 21st century? I would argue that it is meant for authentic learning experiences that create ingrained skills that each learner can carry with them, then apply these skills to real world experiences while wielding them to build meaningful connections in their life. We no longer live in a society that demands productivity, it craves creativity. I will empower my high school learner to harness this ability and feel confident amidst change.